Sure, it's a cliche, but Lumia flagships really do seem to be like buses. We've waited ages for one, and now Microsoft have brought out two at once. So, what's the difference between the Lumia 950 and the XL? Well, the honest truth is, not that much. The most obvious difference is the XL's extra half an inch of screen, hence its name, XL, which is great if you love watching videos on the go. Quality-wise, though, the screens have the same ultra-high resolution, so the XL's bigger, but not better. There are small differences under the hood, too. The processor in the XL is the top-of-the-range Snapdragon 810, while the regular 950 uses the Snapdragon 808. But you'll need to be running some pretty powerful apps to actually notice the difference there. As you'd expect, the XL has a bigger battery too, but because of that bigger processor and screen, the phones have the same battery life. And lastly, there is no difference between the cameras. Both take great photos, so amateur and pro photographers should really enjoy using both. So minus the nitty gritty details, what it really comes down to is what size do you like your phone to be? Do you prefer a big screen, which is slightly better for watching movies and working on, or a smaller screen, which is easier to handle, especially if you have little hands like me? Microsoft's two new flagship phones are brilliant. The Lumia 950 is a good looking and powerful rival to Sony, while the 950 XL should be able to take on Samsung's big phones. But the one thing that really sets them apart is this little box. It's called Microsoft Continuum and it does something pretty cool. It basically lets you turn your 950 or 950 XL into a computer. Plug it in there and then into a screen and voila, you have a big Windows 10 PC. You can even add a mouse and keyboard for full computer control. Look how quickly it works. We can easily open up Word here and very impressively, this is not the little mobile version. This is a full screen Word. All of Microsoft apps scale up like this, so you get proper desktop versions. What's really handy is the different ways you can control it. You can tell Continuum to mirror the screen of your 950 or run apps independently like a separate computer. If you decide you want different things on the phone and big screen, you can still use the 950 as a phone, but check out this great feature. The phone can also turn into a trackpad like on a laptop. Or you can add a mouse and keyboard if you want to get some more serious work done. All in all, if you only use your laptop or PC for work and a little bit of the internet, we think Continuum and Lumia 950 or 950 XL could happily replace it. 